we were asked to find the limit of 6xy divided by the quantity 9x squared plus y squared as x comma y approaches 0 comma 0 along two different paths. We will first consider the limit along the path y equals x, then determine the limit along the path y equals negative 2x, and then from here, hopefully we can determine the general limit. For review, as x comma y approaches a comma b, the limit of f of x comma y is L. If the limit from all paths approaching a comma b exist and are equal to the function value L. So looking at the graph of the surface below, if we are approaching a comma b, then the limit is equal to the function value L if from all paths approaching a comma b, we do approach the function value L. Before we find the limit along the path y equals x, let's look at this graphically in three dimensions. The graph of the function f of x comma y is the yellow surface. The blue line is the path y equals x along the surface. And the red line is the path y equals negative 2x along the surface. If we look at this at the right angle, one thing we should be able to notice is it does appear as we approach 0 comma 0, we are approaching different function values along the two paths, which means if the two limits exist along the two paths, then the general limit is not going to exist. Remember, we would need to be approaching the same function value from all paths, approaching 0 comma 0 for the general limit to exist. Let's take a look at part A, which is the limit along the path y equals x. To determine the limit along the path y equals x, we will substitute x for y in the limit, which gives us the limit as the order of pair can be written as x comma x, again because y equals x approaches zero comma zero, and now we substitute x for y in the function, which gives us six x times x divided by the quantity nine x squared plus x squared. And now we simplify the function. We have the limit as x comma x approaches zero comma zero of, and now we have six x squared divided by, in the denominator we have nine x squared plus x squared, which is 10 x squared. Notice now the function simplifies nicely. X squared divided by x squared simplifies to one. We now just have the constant six tenths, which is not affected by x. The limit is equal to six tenths which equals three-fifths. So along the path y equals x, the limit equals three-fifths. Let's go back to the graph in three dimensions. So as we approach zero comma zero along the blue line, which is the graph y equals x along the surface, we are approaching the function value three-fifths. And notice how the function value approximately here is above the xy plane which does show that it is positive. Now let's find a limit along the path y equals negative two x, which is graphed here in red. So because the path is y equals negative two x, we can substitute negative two x for y, which gives us the limit as x comma negative two x approaches zero comma zero of six x times negative two x divided by the quantity nine x squared plus the square of negative two x. And again, now we simplify the function. We have the limit as x comma negative two x approaches zero comma zero of negative twelve x squared divided by, in the denominator we have nine x squared plus four x squared, which is 13 x squared. Again, the function simplifies nicely. X squared divided by x squared simplifies to one. Now we just have the constant negative 12 thirteenths, which is not affected by x, and therefore the limit equals negative 12 thirteenths. So along the path y equals negative two x, the limit is equal to negative 12 thirteenths. Going back to the graph one last time, we now know as we approach zero comma zero along the path of y equals negative two x graphed here in red, 
we are approaching the function value at negative 12 thirteenths, which is approximately here. Notice how this is below the xy plane. So we just discovered along these two different paths, the limit is different. So now we know the general limit does not exist. Remember, we have to approach the same function value from all paths in order for the limit to exist. So our final answer for part C, the limit of 6xy divided by the quantity 9x squared plus y squared as x comma y approaches 0 comma 0 does not exist. We enter DNE. I hope you found this helpful.